Welcome to Programming Fundamentals. Uh, really excited to have you in the course. What we have in this video today is just a simple way you can set up a Java development environment on your home PC. Uh, you'll find the labs uh, here at Georgian already have um, uh, NetBeans and uh, Java configured. But if you'd like to experiment at home, then this is a great way to, uh, to set up your environment. Um, we don't force a specific uh, integrated development environment or IDE here at Georgian. Um, you're welcome to use Eclipse or NetBeans or any other uh, IDE that you like. Uh, we will be using NetBeans in the course, however. So all I did is I've gone to Google here and I've searched for Java, JDK, and uh, NetBeans. And what's great is Oracle has a combined package that you can just download. So you accept the license agreement and uh, on my machine, which is a Windows, I'm just going to click on the, uh, the x64 uh, installer. Now I've already gone and actually downloaded and installed this onto my machine. It's a pretty simple uh, process to, um, uh, you just click next <laughs> and accept license agreements basically, a very simple installation. Once it's installed, uh, you'll have you'll have a couple things that you can use. One is um, you're going to have access to the um, Java oops, Java development environment. So you can see here's my NetBeans 8 installation, and here's Java. The latest version is is uh, the Java uh, number 11 here, and you can see. Uh, um, our runtime environments and various things that we're going to start covering in the class, what all these libs do and how we can uh, how we can configure them. But for now, let's just go into NetBeans and NetBeans is an integrated development environment for you and the idea there is we can both build our programs and we can test them inside of a, uh, an environment instead of having to uh, uh, write code in a text editor and then compile it and then run it. We can just hit run directly right in here. So I've, let's just get rid of this one here. I'll delete that. Yes. Okay. So this is what you should see when you first go into NetBeans. And today all we're going to do is a real simple thing. Let's we'll just create a new project and it's going to be a Java application. And I'm going to call it Hello World. If you haven't, um, uh, okay, Hello World 1. <laughs> um, if you've never programmed before, usually what happens is in most programming languages, we create a simple little program called Hello World. And the idea there is just to cr create a program that's going to print the phrase Hello World to the screen. So, actually, let me just. Um, when you first come in, you can see here's our .java file, and in our .java file, you can see um, it, it, it created a template for us to follow. Um, anything with the asterisk in front here is just a comment, so I'm going to get rid of that because it's just giving us some feedback. Um, but it's nice because it tells who wrote this file, and in here, I'm going to add in a simple little line that says system.out. And what this does is it tells our, uh, our overall class, the system class, that we want to output something. Um, and we're going to use this print command to say, hello world. And that's all it's going to do. Um, now, if you weren't using a development environment, you'd have to then you'd now have to compile this, uh, make sure that all your uh, directories are um, in the paths are set correctly. But in this case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just push put the play button. And this is what it does. It prints to the screen, hello world. So there's your first Java program. You've set up a Java development environment, and you've made it your first program if you follow this. So uh, looking forward to seeing you in class, and uh, uh, we're going to do a lot of really interesting things.